Hey, what's up guys? Guys, from last couple of years, you must have seen QR code at many places. I mean, from receiving a payment to checking out a product information, QR code is a part of our life now. So guys, in today's video, we'll be creating the QR code functionality into our Salesforce org. We'll be having the QR code functionality into account detail page and we'll be having account website information in it. So we'll be implementing the QR code into the detail page itself. So guys, let's start this video. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bolt. Alright guys, so for today's demo, first of all, you have to log in into a developer org. Let me just show you mine. So this is my developer org guys and to implement the QR code functionality into this org, I will be using an app from App Exchange, which is barcode and QR code generator. So guys, this is a very good application and in this application, we are having multiple options to uh, not only to generate the QR code, but as you can see, we are having maxi code, we are having data matrix, barcode and much more. So guys, uh, in this video, I will explain how you can install this application and how you can configure it to display the QR code on your account detail page. Okay, so let's uh, click on get it now. So we have to install it first. Okay. All right, so actually i have created a new account for this particular demo so it says my trailblazer profile is not linked with any uh, playground or any trail head account so let me just link it first okay just give me a moment okay so this is the option to connect more account all right let me just add my account here okay so I think our account is linked now. Now we can install that particular app exchange app into our account. So let's check it out one more time. Let's refresh the page once. So I think once it's refreshed, it will allow us to install this particular application into our Trailhead playground. Okay, so let's click on get it now and let's try it one more time. All right, so it's asking to install in my in this developer account. So let's click on install in production. Okay, let's wait until it's loading. So guys, using this application, uh, let me just explain what it can do. Let me just confirm and install first. Okay. All right, so I think now the application will be installed shortly. Okay, so guys, using this application, you can uh, uh, mention like uh, for which particular field you need the QR code for. I will show you by creating an sample for that. Okay, I think because I have recently created this account, that's why it is asking for so many verification and other details as well. Otherwise, when I tried it in my personal account, so it was not asking for all that. So let's install for all user. Okay, now it will take some time to get installed. So guys, using this application, uh, you just have to configure your object and your app uh, and your api name of a particular field for which you are generating this qr code or barcode after that it will automatically display the related information into the barcode itself so basically there will be a configuration part for this qr code and after that we have to add the qr code component into our account detail page to display the qr code Okay guys, so the application has been installed successfully. So let's try it out now. Okay, so first of all guys, you have to go to app manager and search for barcode because we'll be conf we'll configure it first. After that, uh, we can use it. 
okay so let's create a new record here all right uh, you have to give the configuration name like i'm giving test here okay so my account will be my object will be account and the api name will be let's say i'm putting website in it and barcode type so we'll be displaying the qr code here so as you can see guys there are multiple types available but uh, as of now we'll be displaying the qr code only so we have selected the qr code and also guys there is a option to download that qr code in a jpg or png file so let me just select a png here and let's save it all right guys so the configuration is done Th that was all the configuration now let's move to account part and uh, let's create a new account first okay so for testing purpose i'm just creating a new account let's say name is okay i will put it in company name let let me put my name okay and we we need website okay so let's say salesforcebolt.com okay and what other information are required okay i think that was all the required field let's save this account okay so basically this is the detail page and we'll be implementing the component here so you just have to go to setup and click on edit page okay so in edit page guys in the left left pane in the search component section you have to search for barcode and you will be getting your barcode and qr code generator here so you just have to drag this component from the left pane to the uh, right on the component okay so our configuration name was test yeah you don't have to put anything into the record id field because it will be getting the record id from the url itself okay so let's save this okay let's activate it okay and assign as our default desktop and phone okay all right so it is saved now let's check the output so guys now whenever you will open the account detail page there will be a qr code at the right side of it okay so as you can see this is the qr code uh, and it's related to this particular url if you if you want to try you can just scan it uh, from this video itself and it will redirect you to my website and also guys as you can see there is an option to save this qr code in a png format like suppose if you would like to send this qr code to someone else so you can just save it and forward it to them okay so guys, uh, that's it for today's video and I hope you learned something new and if you like the video guys, a subscribe to the channel will be awesome. Hey guys, I hope you liked today's video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Also let me know if you have query in the comment section below guys. I'll try to revert back as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching.